Hi, my name is Dwight Larson, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Maxim Integrated, and today I'd like to share a tip with you that you may find handy if you have to recapture data from an image or photo of a plot or chart. As engineers or scientists, sometimes we need to recover data from a static image of a chart or a plot. There are programs that you can download to do this. However, I'm going to show you a way to do it that doesn't involve adding anything to your computer. You can just use Microsoft Excel or some equivalent spreadsheet. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is open Excel or an equivalent spreadsheet program. And we're going to create a blank workbook. And then within that, we're going to enter in some dummy data. We'll call it X data and Y data. And then under those, I'm just going to put in very simple values of 0 and 1. I'll select that data and I'll insert an XY scatter plot, preferably one with markers for the actual data points. And then we have to go to select data. Excel likes to uh, flip the row and column on these by default, so you have to switch it so that you get X on the horizontal and Y on the vertical. Now we have a very simple uh, X equals Y plot, and you can see that the 0, 0, and 1, 1 points are on there. Say OK. Now the chart needs a little bit of formatting in order to do what we're going to do next. So we go in here and say Format Chart Area. And the first thing we want to do is say No Fill. And what this does is it gives us a translucent, completely see-through chart. And then under the Size Options, we want to go to Properties. And you can see that right now it says Move and Size with Cells. And we don't want that. What we want is Don't Move or Don't Size with the cells, so that as we're working in the spreadsheet, the chart won't change dimensions. All right, so now at this point, it's actually handy to save this file. And I'll just save it to my desktop for now. And I'm going to call this chart capture template. You can name it anything you want. The idea here is that if you save this, then you've got a, a blank starting point and you can save the steps of creating this in the future. Move the chart to the side. And now we move on to the next step of the process, which is to open the document with the chart or figure that we want to capture. In this case, it's a MOSFET data sheet. I'll scroll down here. And I want to capture the forward transconductance plot. So I will open the snipping tool and really you could use any way of capturing a screenshot here, but the snipping tool works very well because we can get just the data we want. So I take a picture of the, of the plot and now it's on the clipboard. I can close the document. And we go back to our Excel spreadsheet, pick an empty cell, and then just paste in the plot. And I'm going to resize a little bit. You don't have to maintain aspect ratio, but I went ahead and did that by clicking the corner and dragging. Okay, and now that we've pasted this in, we're going to do something similar to the size properties for this that we did for the chart. So for properties, say don't move or size with cells. Now, bring this chart, the translucent chart, to the front. And what this does is it kind of brings it forward to sort of a virtual layer closer to us than other things in the spreadsheet and superimpose it on the image that we just captured from the data sheet. Now, the chart has kind of a, a general area, and then within that, there's actually the area of the, the plot itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the area of the actual plot to match up with the size of the image that we captured, the, the ends of the, of the actual plot area. And you just get that pretty close. doesn't have to be exact, but you want it. The closer it is, the better this is going to work. And now that it's lined up, what we're going to do is adjust the axes. So I'm going to click the Y axis and click Format Axis. And what I want to do is limit the values on this to match the chart that we copied. So I'm going to set 0 for the minimum. And for the maximum, we can see that the image we captured has 400. So I'm going to put in that value there. And then we'll do the same thing for the, the X axis. Format Axis, set a minimum of 0. 
and a maximum in this case of 320. And now we have our translucent chart superimposed on the image we captured with matching x and y axis values. Now at this point we can actually start filling in the data that we want to capture. So for instance let's make the we can see that there's a point here on this plot of x equals 320 and y equals 325. So we'll put that in as a starting point. And you can see it's pretty close. Now what we want to do is basically tweak this to get the values where they should be, matching them up with the plot that we're trying to copy. So now you can see I've got the two endpoints in there. And to get the other points in, what we do is insert a row and that will add data to the chart. Now what we want to do is pick a midpoint on the plot, let's say 200 and 270. So I'll put in x equals 200, y equals 270, and now you can see that we're starting to get an approximation of the chart that we're copying. And we'll continue to do that by adding new rows as needed. It looks like I can get a point of about 80 and 175, so we'll put that in. And we're getting closer and closer to having useful data here. Uh, the next point I'm going to pick is 50 and 125. And of course, continue to you know, insert rows in the, the right place based on the, the points that you're trying to duplicate. Oops, that point's a little low. So this is where we, where we basically adjust. We can see that it's off. We adjust it up. And you can get as precise as you want. Let's say 142. That's a pretty good match. I'm going to bump my other point up to 273. Oops, wrong point. I'll bump this point to 178. And then I'm going to fill in another point at 25 and about 90. Maybe a little higher. Looks like maybe a 100. And this kind of illustrates the uh, the issue too with reading data off the plot is that what you you know what your eye approximates is always exactly the value you want. But by matching it up visually on the chart, you can actually get a pretty good approximation. and so on and so forth. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue adding points to this, and then uh, when we're done, I'll show you what I've got. All right, now at this point, I have continued to add some refinements to the chart and fill in data points. You can see I have data 0, 5, 13, 20, etc. on the x, and then corresponding y values. And I've tweaked all those points to line up with the curve in the background. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here to make it a little more clear. I have also changed the line type to a dashed line, so it's a little bit easier to see the underlying data. It doesn't obscure it as much. And I changed the marker type to a circle with no fill, and that just makes it a little bit easier for me to line up the points on the plot. Now I can continue adding as many points as needed. Obviously, in places where the data is more curved or it's changing more rapidly, it helps to fill in more points on the Excel uh, data. And in places where it's more flat, you don't need to. But now that I've done this, I have an approximation of the original data that was used to create the plot in the data sheet. And this comes in very handy for uh, recreating things or superimposing data from different devices on the same plot. And now that I've created this new chart, I can actually, if I want, I can copy the entire chart. And I can paste in a copy. And I can format the plot area again. And in this case, say it's solid fill. Go back to white. Format the chart area, also make it a white solid fill, and 
then we'll go to the size options and we can move this back to kind of a more standard move in size with cells. And now that's very easy to work with. So this then is pulling uh, its information from the same XY data that we used to duplicate the underlying plot. But now we can go in and we can format this data series and make it look how we want. We can change the color, all the things that we would normally do in an Excel spreadsheet. And there you go. That's how you can easily and fairly precisely duplicate a static chart and get the underlying data. So that's all there is to it. If you found this helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to Maxim Integrated.